I remember as a little girl and it being a really rainy day and painting a rainbow just to hang in my kitchen. <laughs> and I suppose sort of what we do here is a little bit similar. Living in London and moving here, I realised how disconnected we have become from nature. From the moment we met and I had got the keys of my first place, Javi very much rolled up his sleeves and picked up a pot of paint. I knew from that moment that we were going to work well together. We set up House of Hackney around our kitchen table 13 years ago. It was our first home together. We couldn't find interesting wallpaper. We struggled to find colour or beautiful textiles. And it was sort of the impetus for us to say, well, if we can't find it, let, let's create our own. We travelled around the UK for six months. We had hoped that there would be pockets of industries that would still exist. From that trip, very important relationships were built. 13 years on, it's pretty much the same supply base of factories. We've all grown together. They're, they're part of our team. The craftsmanship, the heritage, the beauty of how things used to be made. We wanted to sort of subvert them and juxtapose them with the modernity and with the playfulness. I suppose what me, what me and Frida are quite good at is looking at what's around us. It's very much sort of a journey of our own personal curiosities. It's what we're reading, it's what we're listening to. It's not just about creating products, but it's also very much about learning about nature. We're studying it and ultimately sharing that with our customers. We had an opportunity to really consider the type of brand that we wanted to work for. It would be a brand that not just didn't exploit nature, but went further and actually protected nature, moving from a sustainable business to actually becoming a regenerative business. We're modernists, we're futurists, and we're kind of... Revivalists. Revivalists. <laughs>